from our top story in the Foreign Secretary Liz Truss has said the atrocities in Butcher in Ukraine need to be investigated as war crimes after images have emerged of Ukrainian civilians lying dead on the streets near the city of Kiev. Joining us now from Spain is the Ukrainian MP uh, Lisa Yasko. Um, hi Lisa, thank you for joining us. Uh, the images from Butcher um, all over the front pages here in the UK this morning. Your heart must bleed when you see them. Exactly. For me, uh, seeing that and knowing what's happening, what's happening there and what happens and losing quite many people I already knew uh, in, in this war, it's devastating and something that you cannot um, you cannot adjust to, you cannot accept, but in the same time, every day it's happening. And um, I have a hope every day that tomorrow will be different, but unfortunately, there are more and more victims coming. And uh, if we don't act very decisively in the world to end this war, uh, to show more strength, to give more military assistance to Ukraine, I will continue seeing this and as many as other people in Ukraine, these atrocities and these victims, and it's very painful. And uh, it's unbelievable that something like this happens in the 21st century uh, with so many war crimes. And we are also knowing that in Mariupol, uh, there could be, and other places that could be even worse because there are many people there and there is no access to that city right now. So it's surrounded and the air strikes are there all the time. Uh, there is just a hope of some uh, magic and I hope that we will save more people. Lisa, um, the Russians in the form of President Putin have said this is all staged and uh, they are uh, asking for an emergency session of the UN Security Council. They feel that they are the victims in all of this. What would you say in response? It's a, such a terrible cynicism. But you know, in the Second World War, Nazi and society in Nazi Germany were all were also saying that killing people is fine and this is for the better like goal of, of everyone. Um, it, the question is how did these societies end up and that political leadership of, of Russia that they can so easily justify their crimes and their murders and saying that it was just staged. Uh, it's like it's very hard to uh, explain this and uh, uh, I wanted also to mention that you know I lost my apartment because my apartment is not far from Bucha. Also, like the whole building is destroyed. And uh, I don't know what happened with neighbors because some of them managed to live on the first days they were lucky, but others who were hiding in the basement, there is no connection to them. So it's like you always wait uh, for good news, but you also are ready to hear some very, very bad uh, news because many people unfortunately were killed in that towns. Lisa, we've been um, hearing from Vladimir Klitschko um, in a, an interview that has been uh, verified uh, by Sky, um, describing what has happened. They described it as genocide. I think we can just have a, a listen to what he said and then and we'll talk about it further. What happened here and everywhere in Ukraine, what is happening, this is not special operation. This is not military objects. This is civilians. They've been shot in the head with the tight hands behind their back. This is a genocide of the Ukrainian population. What do you want the West to do, Lisa? To act to end this war. We need security guarantees right now that our territory can be protected, but that guarantees should be real, not only just on paper. It means that if something is going to happen, then, then there should be real military assistance coming. Uh, we really want the West um, to be uh, realistic and to know that we the only way to win in this war, to win humanity, is to show strength. There cannot be any like compromise with Putin at, at this stage. 
we are not going to make any compromises with our territory and the people who already died for defense of uh, of Ukraine. Um, like my president and I think not a single Ukrainian can agree that we can uh, give away a piece of territory just for the sake of possible peace. Uh, first of all, we don't believe in that peace, on that norms uh, and conditions. And second, it would be very um, naive to think the way that Putin will stop. He is not stopping. And we see that the, he continues bombing and airstrikes in in most of the cities, there was uh, yesterday an airstrike in Chernobyl. It's one of the most, let's say, safest Western cities. There were not many uh, attacks there. So Putin continues that, which means we need to act very, very seriously to help Ukraine to get that military strength even more and to win and kill this evil of war. A lot of Western countries, um and academics feel that what's happening in your country um, are war crimes. Do you think that President Putin will ever stand trial? Well, I, I hope that President Putin uh, will be on trial for these war crimes. I'm sure that his surrounding and uh, those who committed these terrible things, uh, one day, there will be justice and they will um, pay that price. But when it happens, it happens uh, only if, if, if we fight for it. Uh, because I keep hearing, unfortunately, from some even foreign politicians that, oh, maybe we can make still a, a deal with Putin. What kind of deal you can uh, make with a war criminal? There, there couldn't be any deals with these people. There is only one way, whether we but when, whether we stand for, for kindness, for security, for peace, for, for humanity, or those who say this, they also support war crimes then. Okay. Thank you um, for taking the time to join us this morning. Thank you.